So for our viewers, because I doubt their six minutes will make it in, the players are gathered around uh, the embassy. Everybody's dressed normally except for one guy who's uh, dressed as a Smurf. I'll let you guess which one. And uh, <laughs> they were just trying to figure out how to get to uh, the the town of Hika because in Genovia because their clams was blown up. Yes. And they've decided it sounds like on the train, leading to the question, do they have any Genovian currency? Mm. Well, I do not, uh, but I have I gold. Don't. Exactly. I was going to say part of the issue is I don't even know, even if I had Genovian cu currency, it would have been old Genovian currency, which I'm not sure if it's considered legal tender anymore. Good mm. mm. card for Lincoln ahead, people. Um, but no, I didn't. Oh, hang on a minute. I didn't transfer all the currency across. Let me check my old character sheet. I mean, I've got gold and silver. Yep. Yeah, I think that's what we'll. No, no, no Genovian money is listed there. Yeah, I think that's what we'll need to take. Take some gold and then in Barter Town exchange it. Mm hmm. Or take other goods that we think will be useful to exchange in Barter Town. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Even better. Yes. I don't know. Any said you got any ideas what sort of stuff might be useful to take with us to exchange in Barter Town? Mm. I don't know. It's pretty big trade hub, so. Anything that's wanted in that world should go well. What's the tech um, level of Bardachan? I've, I've not been there, I don't think, or I've been there briefly. I'm assuming it's pretty much as what we got here, as in mid to late 19th, mid 19th century, thereabouts. Okay, yeah. That sounds right. Yeah, they've got like steam engine trains and shit. Yeah. Um, I remember the lizard men were crazy about something, but don't remember what it was. Mm. The camera oh, drops to a picture of a lizard man sitting there painting his face. Going, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> the driders were really into Kalua, mm. but that would I don't know if the driders are out in the open in Barta Town due to the whole ISO truck phobe. Um, Nasty insect phobia <laughs> that they have going on. I have literal drider phobia on my sheet. Is it drider or insects? Those are okay. two separate things. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But I've almost got my go maxed, which is <laughs> wow. a good thing. Yeah, it's true. You did not do well with that. All Oops. right. Um, all right. So, worst comes to worst, we can always pop back at the embassy and grab stuff once we establish ourselves in a hotel room or something there. All right. Well, let's nip out and maybe, um, maybe I can walk the pattern. You want to do that? Yeah, I want to try that. All right. So, the, the pattern is in the village, so we need to go to the village to do that. Mm hmm. Um, Got a way of getting us there? Uh, I don't think we have any trumps there, so we would have to shadow walk there. Okay, I'm really bad at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm not bad at shadow walking, so probably the easiest way of doing it is would be for us to go to Sherma, get a car, and then drive. Mm. Okay. And And drive to the village. Now... My only concern is, due to your current condition, Jacob, they may grab you and haul you off to the hospital for treatment <laughs> before you get a chance to walk the pattern. So they don't have Smurfs in Sherma. Uh, Sherma, they might just think you're a crazy person. I'm more talking about the village. Ah. Oh. Um, so yeah, it's going to be very hard to hide my Smurfiness. 
I get it. I get it because they might dissect me because I'm a living Smurf now. That's and right. That usually That's only right. happens in Smurf town, so um, yes. where it's normal. But in in the village, they would probably want to know what a Smurf was. Yes. Okay. So it depends on if you're willing to take the risk. Well, I could put on some uh, some uh, flesh color face makeup, and put <laughs> we could put me in a trench coat and a hat. And sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Disguise. We could disguise you as a human. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. All right, so let's do that then. Like, you got white gloves on anyway, don't you? Um, am, I, no. am I picturing correctly? Don't, no. don't you normally, don't Smurfs oh, normally wear white gloves? You know, actually, you may be right. You may be right. Hold on. Let me check this. Let me check my Smurf pictures here. How many yeah, times yeah. Girls do you have to sit there and look up to find out whether some creature wears gloves or not, really? No, no, I don't look like to do. No, no gloves. No gloves. No. Gloves. Nah. So why was I thinking Smurfs had white gloves on? Oh, I might be thinking of, like, Mickey Mouse or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No no white gloves. Um, I do like my Bond Smurf picture from the boards, though. It's absolutely mm. perfect. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm looking like these days. Why I mean, would you want to change that? It's even got the bracelet. So I mean, you you wouldn't need to worry about the hat. That just looks like a silly hat. But you're um... well. Plus, we have to we have to wear the hat or we die. So <laughs> really? Oh yeah! Don't take the hat off. It's stapled <laughs> to my head. <laughs> I mean, not instantaneously. I we'd be able to uh, have time to buy another hat probably but i would get very sick okay so, so um you, you, right, you, wear, you, you i'm assuming your hat and pants are white not red uh they're white yes i'm not popping yet because i haven't grown a beard yet mm. and then if you grow a beard are you going to change your hat and your pants to red yes <laughs> are you going to do it by dipping it into somebody's blood in the old-fashioned way of the um oh i can't even think of red, name. Caps. Red, red cap thank you um no i'll probably <laughs> use ferric oxide and linseed oil and paint it I've sometimes like wondered a barn. If, i've wondered if papa snurf was actually a red cap Ooh. <laughs> that could be you know um he does drink the blood of elves mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Everybody drinks the blood of elves in this world. So, so maybe his hat and pants are red because he has dipped them in the blood of the Kepler elves. <laughs> okay, uh, group learning. But let me let me discard first. This will be the the uh, uh, conversation time to figure out what to put it into. Does anybody so, want a skill plus ten? Uh, let me check. Uh, no, sure. the skill plus 10. Yep, all right, there you go, Scott does. Okay, there you go. In regards to the group training, uh, because it's got to be a skill above base, mm -hmm. the one that we have been doing recently, because it is useful for work, walking the pattern and it's potentially going to be useful for walking the logarithms, is constitution endurance because it's not one that comes up that often in game right. to get a tick on it. So that would be my suggestion. I'm open to others if every of you two have got something you think everybody's um, got points in. That so sounds good. Scuba and parachuting are nice. Uh, direction sense is a good idea. Um, Russ has just come up with some of the best ideas I've heard outside of uh, <laughs> that. But, but, but the, the issue yeah. is the issue is that it's got to be above learn. Above learn, yeah. Right. But everybody Which should have pretty... direction sense above learn. If not, then scuba, parachute. If they have none of those above learn, they're going to die soon. Well, I did not have any of those above learn up until about two weeks ago. Hey, Pete. I don't have direction sense. I've got direction sense of learning. Because so now, previously, we, I've never had to roll direction sense until recently because whenever we were going around the tours, we ran we used navigation land. Yeah. Okay. I've got scuba. I do not have scuba above learn anymore. 
Okay. Hey, gonna die soon. No, I used to have scu- I used to have scuba at a semi decent level. Um, I've got parachuting. I do too. But my parachuting is maxed out for purposes of this card. It can't get above sixty, right? Oh, oh no, you get a check. No, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say, that. say that. Okay, cool. Parachuting. Yes, I do have parachuting above hobbyist actually. Huzzah. There you go. So if you want to do parachuting instead, we can do that. Okay. Parachuting or, or constitution, guys. Parachuting. Parachuting. Yeah. Checking parachuting for everybody. Woo! Which is also base jumping. Awesome. Now, you're wanting to try to hide your inner goodness and smurfiness for the purposes of sneaking mm-hmm. into the, the uh, thing. How many times have you walked to that pattern, by the way, Russ? Once. Got it. So you have walked the pattern that Doc created? Yes. Okay. In the village. Okay. Because don't forget also, even after you walk the pattern, you will need to get the assistance of someone to remove the smurf from you, like someone like Mildred. Actually, that might be able to get us That's, where uh... that might be able to get us where we're going too, because I have a trump of me. Yeah, I can no, teleport. Very smart thinking. Mm-hmm. Take a card, Russ, <laughs> for being smart and shit. Um, I can well, help Russ with uh, yourself as a human. I've but. also got a trump of myself. Sorry, um, Glenn. But you started saying something. And oh, I talked over. Yeah, I've got uh, psych stuff to help out okay. Russ. Okay, so you can psychoanalyze Russ to or, or Rock. Rock to help out Rock. Russ or, or Rock. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I mean, well, you know, Scott and I have started sessions, and um, they're not going column, well. A little from column A, a little from column B. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, well, go ahead, Glenn, take a minute, take a stab at it. Well, is your no. sanity currently above? Uh, what is it, forty? Well, I don't know. Depend. When was it? Thirty or twenty that turned you into a smurf? Uh, it was thirty. Is your sand above thirty? Yeah, my sand should be above thirty, but but it's not. Yeah, it should be okay. My sand says thirty, so let's just say I'm thirty. Uh, then then he can talk, 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 and it's not going to help until your sand goes up at least one more point. You need to go because they're toggle switches. As soon as you get at or past them, then it clicks. So you're at it, and it'll be like you're not a Smurf, and your toggle switch says I'm a Smurf. So once you get to 31, Sandy, then he can try to make you less Smurfy. Why you'd want to be less Smurfy is a mystery to me, but no, I know. Um, well, so yeah, I know. So, so second time you walk the pattern, do you get sand the second time you walk the pattern? Does anybody know? No idea. I've not walked. I've only I've walked two separate patterns. I've not walked a pattern twice. Same here. Uh, I, I don't remember. I don't I remember what happened to. Um... I think Freddie may have. I think there have been a couple of people that have walked Doc's pattern twice. I don't recall any of them saying that they didn't feel better about themselves after doing okay. it. All right, so that's not, the, that's not to say that it did or didn't happen. It's just that they haven't stated it. Nobody Excuse me. Happen. <laughs> well, let's try that. And when um, let's, we... let's stress me as a human first. Yep. So just in case the pattern doesn't work. Um, so we can get you some glasses. Oh, um, actually, I don't need the glasses. Been... Actually, that's that doesn't matter. My eyes are pretty normal. You you might want to get a mask instead because human colors may burn your flesh while you're smurfed out. <laughs> oh, good point. Good point. Um, what masks should do. All right. How about you... a guy fox mask? I hold up my guy fox mask. <laughs> I was actually going to say, have you been getting any better with um, shape changing? Uh, no, I have no power to shape change at all. Oh, don't you? I think everybody got the the basic thing. No, you only got the no. basic thing if Doc and then others have taught you. Oh, so nobody taught a... you how to how to shape change. 
Is that no? Is that a learn spell? Is that something you take? You have it learn automatically, or is that learned only? It's just like a new magic spell. Okay. It's like a new tree. I can attempt to, treat, to teach it to you now. The the basic level of it will not help you in your current predicament, but right. it will get you on that path. Then you can then you can mask yourself as a human. Okay, cool. I am actually looking at masking myself as a Smurf, which is why I was asking about the whole humanoid thing, Logan. Smurf oh. was one of the what options I was thinking. Oh, so I, Russ could, Russ could actually shape-change himself to a Smurf. So he wants to be a human. You want to be a Smurf. It's time for another Freaky Friday episode, folks. Woo! No, no, I just thought it would be useful to be out instead of the next time we need to use Gal Gal Gamesh's book. Instead of having to wear that stupid bunny costume, if we could, if I could actually shape change into a Smurf. <laughs> okay. That's why I was asking about the whole humanoids. It was Smurfs, beastly, uh, sleaze stacks, beastkin, elves. Okay. I, I can see benefits of being able to shape change into all of them at different times. I can't explain any of this. All right, cool. Does shape changing cost magic points? No, shape changing is a higher power. It's an amber. It's like an amp. It's oh, like okay. So it's in abilities. And, yeah, yeah. So let okay. me see if I can teach you. Not today. <laughs> you have pretty. You have a pretty good teach too. Mm. Yeah, better you than give it a, oh, hi. Did, I, yeah. I got a reroll for you if you want to. I shake my fist at the cage with the stuffed all in it. <laughs> Let's see if um see if uh, Glenn can teach you. Well, he's got a reroll for you, and it's up to you. Glenn's not bad either. It's up to you if you want to do it, or we can try again tomorrow. We can try again tomorrow. We'll try it's again not, tomorrow. Hang on with the reroll. That's yeah, a good yeah. card. Yeah, hang on to the reroll. I the suspect it might be better. Tomorrow. That's all right, right, so we will organize some clothes so that like a carafe, a carafe, and. Uh, Heavy coat and although Bartertown's warm, isn't it? It's like in near the desert or something. It's yeah, it's near the desert. So, so Logan, we can get you Bedouin clothes or something. Yeah. So lo level three of this insanity is no. I want to be a Smurf. Uh, you might have to go a little further because you want you are a Smurf at level two, and then. Demanding at level three, it's too close. You're going to need something else. Okay. Something deeper in the Smurfy categories. I don't know what gets deeper than being a Smurf, but okay. Well, you're, you're already kind of a Smurf. You're trying to disguise yourself as a human. I don't think we're too far away from this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So what are we going to do? Play, play around with uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 quirks and stuff for a while until you can find one that uh, works for you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, if you were to close your eyes for half an hour, I think I could be quite good at disguising you as a human. Okay, I can do that. I lay down in bed. <laughs> Get a tub of water and scrub him clean. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! You are now disguised as a human. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were just going to use the mask because right now your skin feels like really super uncomfortable and unnatural and stuff. That's what I said. I would disguise him as a human. Yeah, you're 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 with your with your current insanity. You're just sitting there groping for your blue face paint and stuff after he scrubs you down. Right. You're too crazy to be a human right now. It's like I don't know how races. long this is going to. I don't know how long this is going to last because I, you did something to change my Smurf transformation back and feel myself changing back. I grabbed yeah. some blue paste paint. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. After bluing up, the mask seems to cover your Smurfiness. At least it should be good for a little bit. I don't see what uh, harm wearing an anti-dictatorship mask into a place like the village could do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we shall... All right, so this is how I'm thinking we do it. We go to Shoma, we get a car. We then shadow walk with the car to the village. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, sounds great. Um, should we get a mask? 
Yeah, we might want to get a different mask than. Get a mask and shimmer. Okay. Yeah, we'll get you something in shimmer. Like a more like a carnival mask or something. Okay. And I shall also grab my number two cloves and put them in a bag. <laughs> you want to have more than one set of cloves? My clothes, which have the number two oh, I on see. them that oh, I was oh. wearing when I was when I left the village the last time with Freddy. That's a good idea. So that I can put them on before we get there, and then da da, I'm number two. Okay. Which will may go horribly wrong if there's already a number two, but mm. well, in the village, anything is possible. But every time I've been to the village, they've referred to me as number two. So uh -huh. we shall try it and see. Okay. So we do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Step one, right. Trump. Step one, Trump to Shermer. No problem. You guys head over to uh, Shermer. It's really not an issue in Shermer at all. Uh, watching watching uh, uh, Papa Smurf there wandering around with you. People don't really bat an eyelid at some guy wearing a Guy Fawkes mask and stuff. Uh, he looks like one of those edgy wannabe hackers and stuff that they've uh, heard about in the news. Um, so we should have got, yeah. we should have got you some restaurant. If there's a restaurant nearby, I shall grab a handful of takeaway menus. People try to escape from him and, uh, and ignore and him, give and, him and give him to. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Just like in real life, people begin to avoid uh, the rock if he's trying to hand them menus and shit. It's like, no, 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 don't even want to talk to him. Why don't you give me a sign so I can sign for him? Um, <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, so they... costume shop. Mm -hmm. All right, Maybe. you guys find a costume shop uh, slash theatrical place and everything. Yeah, something I immediately fun. grab the giant Smurf head and say, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Take a card, Rob. It shows Pete trying to pry it out of your fucking hand. No, no, no. I don't think that'll work for the village, unfortunately. Okay. All right, uh, all right. We need well, something a bit more like a, because it's like the 1960s and stuff, and so, sort of like Venice Carnival type masks, full face Venice Carnival type masks, that sort of stuff. I'm thinking. I've got a bouncer card. I'm going to discard. <gasps> Anybody interested? Does that one do? Uh, successful grapple. You can grab them and throw them three meters. Meeting, meeting, knockdown. D6 sun. Uh, Big James Slay was played with it even worse. Mm -hmm. You can no. throw somebody three meters. I mean, 10 feet, basically. I'll take it. Okay. I was say, in real life, if I could throw somebody 10 feet, <laughs> I'd probably be in jail. It's like, hey, what's up? Ah. All right. Okay. We shall get him an appropriate mask. We shall, um, we shall then leave that place and... Uh, how much for the costume, Logan? Uh, you're just getting a big mask to plop over his head, and something, and like a a, a jacket or something, or a cloak or something, so that he can wear that, and so his arms and body aren't. Uh, sure, you get him something that's a little bit cheesy and stuff. Uh, Fifty yeah. dollars, your choice of styles. Fifty bucks. All right, there you go. Oh, Trimmer Trimmer bucks. Get him yeah, a I'll... Richard Nixon mask. <laughs> <laughs> Take a card, Scott. I'd love to uh, uh, somehow get lots and lots of people to wear Richard Nixon masks. Even or we could be the, we get, sorry, go. We could be the presidents from Point Break. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I, or I was thinking we get some William Shatner masks and turn them inside out. Oh, God. <laughs> there's, there's too many people that would lose their fucking minds. Yes, they would. Although in the village, they may not understand the reference, but yes. Uh, okay, so I'm messed up. Uh, back to our car, I guess. Yes, so we'll go and get a, we'll go and find a car. Uh, we'll are you wanting to buy a, buy a car or steal a car? Uh, let's see about buying a cheap, see what, see how much for a cheap car first. You can get a, you can get a cheap car that should run long enough to get you there for like 500 Shermer bucks uh, that actually runs and stuff. 
it's the kind of car that people get their uh, uh, 17 year old kid because they know that soon yeah. that fucker's going to die. I mean, the yeah. car, not the kid. I mean, maybe both. Well, I don't know. We, we show. We um, show. Yes. Sir, red carpet money work here? Or? No. no. All the money so, here has what's his name on it? Anybody? Hughes, John Hughes. There you go. We, which is oh. very strange because he's the mayor here. Mm -hmm. so why he's on the money, I don't know, but huh. nobody's even asked. <laughs> he, maybe he's the supreme dictator in the totalitarian society. Uh, yeah. well, I've got zero Shermer dollars. It's all right. I've got three thousand Shermer dollars. I, okay. Out of curiosity, who else is carrying like a big fucking bundle of money and shit on them? Uh, it's in my traveler's wallet. I have. I mean, what do you call big? <laughs> uh, I don't know. How, uh, how much might he carry in real life? Uh, a couple thousand dollars? I don't know. I've what? got 64,000 yuan from China. That's the most of uh, cash, 16, and I don't think that's very much. 16,000 yuan? 64,000 yuan? <laughs> yeah, I got you. That's, that's what that is? It's a wad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. I think I got my backpack. So I, uh, okay. that goes my backpack. Great. Yeah. In, yeah. I got uh, it. I got it on my equipment sheet backpack with Jesus straps. Yeah. Okay. I've got like 5,000 Hong Kong dollars and 5,000 red carpet dollars. So that's like a hundred bills. I, oh. I usually just, I mine, I grab what I need at the time. Yeah. Basically as in, we're going oh. here and here, so I grab my money for those locations. I, I just noticed most PCs seem to have all their money on them unless nah. they get blocked. And then suddenly it's like, no, no, I don't. Of course I would. It would be illogical for me to carry that. No. I'm, mine, I actually change mine, the location from embassy to me, depending on what we're doing. That's the right way to do it. So... Well, I mean, if you've got a actual working safe like you do, as opposed to these guys who are like, I don't want to talk to Elrin. No, El El Elrin, he, he, no, no. Or they go to the bank. You can go to the bank and keep whatever you want in their safety deposit boxes, and unless it's explosive. Anything that's short of an explosive, they're okay with. Oops. Mm -hmm. Doubled up on that one. Anybody want an armor piercer card? Mm -hmm. Not at the moment, thank you. No. Excuse me. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, give me that. I'll take the am I being followed and ditch it. Okay, thank you. So we bought a car? Yes, we bought it's a car. not a nice car. Who is going to drive this not a nice car? Um, I was going to say, I've actually, and I've actually got legal ID for sh Well, actually, I better check that. Oh, that's yeah. true. That's true. So wait, I have no idea. Have is volunteering to drive the car? I'm sure this won't be suspicious at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm Richard Nixon. Fuck off. <laughs> mm, I can call as many children as I want. Okay. Drive that one. There we go. <laughs> If Richard Nixon's driving, I insist on a uh, bomb louse uh, bumper sticker or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. I have Shermer. I have proper ID for Shermer. Does anybody else have proper Shermer ID? So the guy who's used to a good old horse and buggy is uh, taking the driver's seat. Looking no, no, around, I'm like, buying the car. I've yes, got proper ID. You, I've got proper ID to be able to buy the car. I mean, the way that I drive, I don't think I'll get pulled over. Yeah, and I drive pretty good too. Yeah, but, I think um, both of you are a lot better drivers than I am. And I've got a pretty good human disguise on, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I think I think it's probably best you not not be behind the driving wheel while while wearing the mask and stuff. That the cops <laughs> might think we're doing a heist or something. Okay, all right. Um, but it's really good. I, I really look human. Chill, mm. Richard Nixon. <laughs> oh, I, I am look not human. A, I am oh. not a crook. <laughs> Nixon's back, guys. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, the guy who hasn't typed his name into his character sheet is amazing at driving a car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so who wants to attempt to shadow walk us to the village? Well, I got a one in four chance. I could try it. Yeah, if you want to give it a shot. 
I'm I'm quite I can do it for a living, so I'm happy to let you guys try it first. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Nope. Right. About where he's at. Nope. You guys stop and get some gas. <laughs> And uh, never are heard from again. Well, I could try and hell ride us there. Ooh. That's, <laughs> that's scary. No, <laughs> nah, I, I wouldn't do it to rock. <laughs> do we get one try and that's it? Or can we keep trying? Well, a day, no, one no, try a day. One, one try a day. Okay. So, so. We can, so we can either spend re-rolls or get a hotel, rest up, and then try it again tomorrow. Uh, hotel sounds good. All right, we get a hotel. As long as you're paying for everything. Sixty yeah, Sherbert yes. dollars later. And in the morning, uh, let's see if we can teach you how to shape shift rock. Okay, and, cool. Uh, hmm. Teaching, 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 teaching. While you guys do that, I'll quick. All out. right. And now. And now the big one. abilities. Shape shifting. This I'm at hobbyist. Nope. Nope. Nice try though. Ooh. Ooh. And Glenn. Nope. Nope. Ooh, if that was a bit nah, it's not even worth doing reverse dice on it. Nope. It was oh, like it on yours. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at mine. I've got reverse. I've got the matrix power reverse dice now. Okay. Um, why don't you try? No. Oh, I, I, yeah, no, I wasn't going to do it today because it's... I'm saving... Did it work? If, if, it, if, I got, if it was low enough that if I reversed it, it would be a crit, I would I would do reverse dice, but it's not. Nah, so. Not a crit, yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't make it a crit, unfortunately. It would make it a, a success, mm -hmm. but... There's nothing stopping us from trying again tomorrow. Until you finally fumble teaching. That's right. Do I need to roll drive again? No. No, wait. Do you have a sixth gear better? Yeah, yeah. you do, don't you? Yes, he does. He yes. just gets in the car. You guys get in the car. Where are you putting Tricky Dick, by the way? Front or back seat? Back seat. <laughs> That's probably for the best. All right. No problem. You guys uh, go driving on. And of our viewers who don't know who Tricky Dick is, too goddamn young. Five, five. All, right. All right. I'm going to give a shadow walk a try to. Yes, by the way. Nicely done. Wow. All right. No problem. Eventually, you guys leave the city and you're driving through the country, and then the country itself starts to flatten out and get more and more green. And then there's like a little bit of beach over there, and then eventually there's. I change green. into. I start changing into my outfit. All right, and right, he he gets into his outfit, and up ahead you see like. <laughs> and it shows him taking off his uh, outer shirt, and then he's got like underwear. It says "Ambassador" across it. Like, <laughs> Eyes on the road. <laughs> His, under, his uh, bottom underwear or the Australian flag underwear and shit. You're like, what the fuck? And uh, so eventually you get uh, to, you see a small red flag in the distance and you are appear, appear, appear to be driving across a golf course right now. Your uh, wheels uh, are... You might want to right. stop. I stop. Before they get annoyed with us ripping up the golf course. Hmm. Shows a fucking pile of different um, cards and shit here. Tarot cards? Uh, yeah. Have you been to the village before? Nope. I mean, never? You've never been to the village. Never, never. Oh my god. Okay. Be uh, seeing you. <laughs> uh, everybody loves the village. Uh, that's the word I'm looking for. All right. Uh, if something weird happens with the uh, trump cards, you end up getting a that and that. 
Yeah, so the trump cards are very random now. Ten of pentacles and a six of flowers. Uh, what's holding six the flowers? Seven cups. Cups. Okay. Yeah, they're completely random now. We're no longer, it's no longer doing the whole filling up a deck, then filling up the next deck. Mm -hmm. Whatever's happened, what, the change, what the changes that have been occurring have caused the tarot to become completely random. Okay. Okay. And it's extremely pretty for you can see what they look like here now, flower child. There it is. So you guys uh, begin walking across the uh, golf course. And uh, from Joshua McKay, I would like an essence roll. Lower is better. Mm -hmm. And let's do that and see what we get. Uh, by four. Do you want to stick with that or have it get lower? Mm -hmm. uh... I do. Yeah. How do you? How do you do that? It also it also gives you a uh, check in your uh, uh, essence if you can get it by three. All right. I'll spend one hero point and spend a skill plus ten. Ooh. And then do that. And then do that. No. Pretty. Right. You guys eventually walk over to the. Uh, um, uh, one of the many uh, small bars dotted throughout the golf course and stuff. They serve chips and snacks and stuff. Uh, let's see, uh, McKay, since you are dressed as number two, give me a luck roll. Uh, Cool. Uh, you see a guy in there, he lifts up a telephone and he's talking as you guys are walking toward him. And eventually a uh, car pulls up, a couple of guys, unless you guys are wanting to do combat rounds, shoot both of your companions with knockout darts. They fall down and then they invite you into the car and they put their bodies in the back and then drive you all into the village where they'll okay. eventually wake up bound to chairs in your office. <laughs> <laughs> and let me give you some pictures of uh, his office. Uh, you know, they try. Um, where's the office pictures? Excuse my moment. You're not sure why you guys wake up bound to chairs and stuff with him sitting in a chair looking super evil, but it seems to be part of the, the way of this place. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Piece of fog. Hold on, let me drag this around. I've got a problem. I've actually got too many different pictures and stuff. So, and not knowing where the PCs will go at any given time. All right. Here is the office that you guys are sitting in. Now, instead of the uh, big face on there, it's the weird yin yang symbol with the infinity on the screen. Um, do you see the uh, black half cup chair? Mm hmm. It's one, I've of seen those, these. it's one of those super uncomfortable chairs from the 60s that they have only because they look stylish. But if you sit in one for five minutes, you wish you hadn't. That's where McKay is sitting, looking super evil. And where the guy is standing are instead two chairs, and you guys are both tightly restrained in them. Nobody else is around. Uh, there is the other stuff, though, the, uh, the small stuff of different teas, the large, stupid-looking telephones, and of course the penny farthing bike. And I gotta wish I'd get rid of that echo. This is kind of like that TV show where the uh, the guy's on the island and he's given a number. 
can't remember the name of it. He's not a prisoner. You, He's you a free man. Right <laughs> you are prisoners indeed. <laughs> um, I pick up the phone. All right. We, uh, there are numerous colored phones on the desk, three of them in different primary colors. What am I bound with? Uh, it appears to be some sort of rubber tubing. Okay. Hmm. I pick up the white phone. Excellent. Yes, number two, says the voice. 13, where are the files? I'll have them brought up immediately, number two. Thank you. Uh, a guy with a uh, dressed in... Ah, here is what the costume looks like. Please ignore uh, his head on there. Uh, that was one of the other unfortunates. Yeah. <laughs> That's the same costume that McKay's wearing, except this guy's got number 13 on it. And uh, he comes up, he hands number two the files, and he says, will there be anything else, number two? Just a moment. I'll open up, have a quick look at the files. What numbers are what numbers have they been designated? Uh, number uh, 68 for uh, him, for, sorry, for uh, um, Glenn, and number 69 for uh, uh, Rock, a.k.a. Horny <laughs> So goddamn appropriate, yes. All right. And why aren't they dressed appropriately? The both of the chairs are. Uh, this guy picks up a different phone, and he talks somebody, and eventually they get wheeled out. And then when they get wheeled back in, they are both dressed like this, and uh, they're <laughs> next to their chairs again. And I'd like to the what they had on them and their clothes over there, please. Yes, number two. Right, it is all done as he wishes. Uh, there's a newspaper sitting by uh, near number two also that looks like this. That, hmm. hmm. As far as I recall, we don't have a clock, a clock here, but I know exactly what that is from. Mm -hmm. And uh, right, the guy standing by. That'll be all. Three. Yes, number two. He, Great, he Scott. Wins. <laughs> are we still bound of course can i break out of this now uh joshua no wait 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 okay uh anything particular in their files about the two of them uh yes uh, according to uh uh glenn's he's very bad at technology uh although he he is uh possibly going to be good at uh, the stupidest game in the world where you jump up and down on the uh, trampoline and try to get the other guy dunked into the pond of water between the two trampolines. I forget the name of that really dumb game. Um, so they suggest him for that. And uh, for uh, Horny Smurf, it's recommended to wear uh, face protection whenever talking to him just in case he arrives, as they call it. <laughs> All right. He's considered a deviant and a menace to society. All right. For I'm some reason, the, the picture it, it has of him would make him look more smurf like in the photo. <laughs> Bigger eyes. It's, it's been photoshopped. Years. And... Yeah. All right. I'll get up and release it to him. Grab, grab, right. grab your gear. Every bow. first free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to attempt contortion so I can get the hell out of this. Yes, that's an awful oh, one wow. <laughs> like, oh, I dislocate my arms, put them on the ground, dislocate my legs, put them on the ground, squirm out, put my legs and arms back on. Hi. <laughs> yeah, they are both really good at this. Okay, you're standing there going, well. I have released them. Good. <laughs> so pick pick up your gear. Okay. Look. Where is look, our gear? Um, not su submission. Right, right over there. The right word. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All of it. All, you notice that everything that you own 
is now in some sort of, even though it's not quite marked like that, it's in basically its own evidence collection bag within your bag. So it's plastic bags within your bags for unknown reasons. Nice. Okay, I, I take my equipment out of the plastic bags and leave, uh, leave, leave it. Leave, leave it there for a moment. Oh, okay. All right. Well, everything's waterproofed. Mm -hmm. All right. Follow me. Okay. Well, you know yeah. the way anyway. Lead, lead, lead on, Jacob. You know the way. Don't we have to take the elevator? Yes. I don't know how to operate the elevator. Somebody else did that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you sit in the there's stairs that go down as well, besides the elevator, isn't there? I have no idea. I'm I'm saying to Logan, my memory is that there's <laughs> stairs as well as the you chair. don't see the stairs right now for some reason. All yeah. right, everybody get on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> All the ones. So how do we operate this thing? The the whole like, the gray area around the chair also goes down, you know. Yeah. That. Yes. So, so you guys stand, all get stand around the chair and we press this button here and down we go. And okay. you go down, down, down. It's like magic or a cheap elevator. And you go down to this room here, or rather past it, where you see two guys that are riding around what appears to be a seesaw that's slowly going around and there's various <laughs> maps all over the walls and stuff. And while they're riding around on the seesaw, they're both looking at these monitors and both of them have uh, buckets that are attached next to them for some reason. And you're guessing that riding around like this may make them sick after a while. You have no <laughs> idea why they're riding around like this. It doesn't seem at all attached to what they're doing. They could just be sitting in front of a bank of monitors like normal fucking people, but they're not. And when one goes up, everyone goes down, and they go around in a circle because it's ultra futuristic. Plus, that white thing up on the top, that's a, some sort of camera thing that moves around in here. It doesn't seem to be doing anything other than touring around on its tracks. You don't know why it's there either. Uh, he, McKay, angrily pushes the button again, though, and it takes you down to another level no where... actually I was, going, I was going to stop the pause there for a moment say uh, number 37 report please everything seems quiet sir uh we are currently working on uh repairing some of the green mm -hmm. shows you several camera shots of uh the green also on the monitors you can see other places of what the village looks like there uh scott just in case you're ever dragged back to this fucked up place again and it looks like this. Mm. And the helicopter? It is on the pad and completely secure. It has the uh, shocker installed, sir. The, the shocker is still there. Good. Yes, sir. Very good. Thank you, number two. All right, we go down to the next level. Right, this level was a big uh, cave thing. It took longer to descend to this level than did the level before it. And it seems to be uh, the pattern is down here. It looks super familiar. Did you guys bring your bags with you or are they still sitting up there? I brought mine. I would have, yeah, if they hadn't have grabbed, I said to grab them and if they had left them, they would have said grab them. Yep. Got okay. it. No problem, you guys are down there and it's really obvious it's a big pattern. Um, have you walked it before, Scott? This one? Um, is this the same one that was at the Last Chance Saloon? Yes. Yes. Then yes, I walked it once. Cool. Excellent. Okay, time for a pause suck. Yay! Uh, before oh, you do so. Okay. You want a skill 10? Yeah, sure. I'll take a skill 10. You've got a reroll already, haven't you? Yes, I do. Um, I have a replenish if you, depending on how things go, just let me know if you want me to play it. Hmm. Oh, God damn it, roll 20. Um, I'm just going to have to accept this without giving you a card back and then give you a card back because my cards are now covered by the accept trade dialogue. Hang on. Let me see if I can do this. Maybe I can do this. I'll just accept it and then drag one over to mine. No, I got it. While well, you guys play with the cards. All right, so. All right, I'm going to give you this one, and you better hang on to it. Oh, that's a good one. So, 
we need to make sure we've got the the appropriate trump cards. Which ones do we need? As in, yeah, I give you my trump card of me. I give you a trump card of the rock. Yeah. By the way, I can give you a trump card of me for the moment as well, just so we've got one each, just to double. Number two. Double. Yes. Please take two cards for doing a good job as number two. <laughs> um, let me have a look, man. You other guys, it's really scary just how quick he fucking falls into that too. <laughs> just, just, boom, he's number two now. Oh God, that would be a fucked up insanity. There, I'm always number two. <laughs> I like everybody to obey me all the time. Uh, I might get rid of sticky hands. Mm. That sounds like more of the rocks kind of thing there. Yes, yes. Um, all right, so we've exchanged trump cards. Uh, oh, before so you walk it, get... Oh, get by the way, real, real quick, there's this uh, dog statue right over there. Let me Don't show you what it. it looks like. Yes. Don't have a <laughs> note on it there. I thought I should point this out because Scott... May I'm not going to stop him from touching anything. It's up to you guys to restrain him. Uh, there it is. Drag that over. Jacob, Let's why don't you give him a rundown as to the nature of the dog statue? Yeah, well, if you touch the dog statue, then uh, the dog starts following you and attacks you every night. Um, unless you rip out somebody's heart and eat it. In oh. which case you can use the dog's power. There's and what the doctor actually Apparently, is. one of our doors is actually doing that. So. That was why Kinley was acting weird. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's trying to max out cold blooded killing, I think. He's point. trying to, he's, he's becoming a, as much of an anti paladin as he can. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yes, that is why. The funniest what thing is, he doesn't need what the doctor is. The funniest thing is he doesn't need what the dog statue can give him at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the, that's the hilarious thing. His dog statue is actually super powerful, and he's like, "Meh, I just want to kill a bunch of people." He's having fun with it. As he really is. Weird, weird stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, just as an aside, Logan, I have not actually walked this pattern, and I oh, you intend should definitely to walk. Consider that. Holy and shit. I have no intention of walking this pattern. I would get my ass on that pattern quick. Um, let's see the no, sign. Uh, I am not ready to walk. I yeah, I don't have uh, the skills to walk it. You are totally ready. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. The the uh, uh, note on the statue says, and there's a circle that's been drawn around it, and the note says, "Property of Alex Kinley. Don't touch. I warned you." <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know he'd been here. I, no, I, if Alex Kinley had been here, he'd have two fucking dog statues and be doing two times the cannibalism, I'm pretty goddamn sure. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh -huh. Okay, so we've swapped cards, and we're not touching the dogs. And uh, you have got dressed appropriately. Yes, I'm dressed appropriately, although I'm worried about showing up in Melwick's in this. As a Smurf? No, I'm dressed as a human. Nixon. I'm hidden as a I'm, I'm Nick, Richard Nixon in a number sixty nine oh. suit <laughs> with smurf underneath. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Are we ready? Yep. I'm ready. Have you have, have oh, Rock yeah. been to Melwick's before? Yes, I or have. Have you Through been the to Hecop? Have you been to Hecop before? No. Ah, so you'd have to go to Melwick's and then walk your ass to Hecop. It's about a day's trip or whatever. Yeah, or that's that's the way it's going to work. Or carriage or whatever goes between the places. And then we'll make some trump of uh, Hika or Melwix, whatever's appropriate. Mm. All right. Well, you are ready to walk the pattern of the village. Yep. Okay. What's the first roll? I can't remember. Right. Uh, what is your strength? Right. My strength is 70. So 10 under roll, 40 or less. Or sorry, yeah, 40 or less. All right, I'll throw the skill plus 10 on that. 50 or less. Oh, checking strength. 
barely, barely, as you continue on, sparks flying up around your knees. Next, what is your endurance, plays? Uh, my endurance is 68, so same thing. 70, so yeah. Uh, roll 50 or less. Or, Here we sorry, go. 40 or, 40 40 or less. Or All right, I'm going to throw a reroll on that, and then the pause suck begins. It begins. Yep. How many, hero, how many hero points do you have left after that one? 15. Cool. All right. What is your willpower? It helps uh, 15. So will times three, right? Uh, no. What, what's your will times five? So that would be 65. 65 versus 80 is 15 under. So you need a 35 or less as you just don't have the will. Okay. Wow. wow. He jumps, he jumps off of the Another house. pause. Another pause. There we go. All right. So you got to check in all those different things. Okay. And let's see. Uh, right. Roll a D8. You want high. This is Sandback. Yeah, hold on. I'm trying to keep track of how much pause I'm using here. Okay. So let me. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yes. That's there a good go. roll. Now, uh, let's see, and this is your, that's on your second time. Third time on, you don't get any sand that you find out. But second time you do, uh, and no matter how many times you get a refill of your cards. Ooh. Yay. Okay. Um, okay, I have an It's a Crit. Can I trade that off to somebody? Mm, yeah. Uh, yes, ahead. I would love that card. Okay. <laughs> Do you mind oh, if I that. use it? Um, <laughs> I think we should save it. But uh, if you I've... really have a compelling reason to use it. Yes, he does. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get my form back. I'm okay. Trying... Yes, you may use it. All right. I'll call up my amber power shape shifting real quick because I know it's coming. Yep. I'm going to shape shift into my human for my other human form. Now, hold on a second. Uh, hold on a minute. I have too many powers. Let's see. Are you shape shifting? Sha Are you okay? yeah. Yes. Shape shift into one specific other human. I've actually I haven't put the new description there, but so something I want to clarify: Can I shape shift into a female? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Now okay. with your uh, one other human. You have to specify what that human looked like, and that's always the other human. Yeah, that yeah, you're yeah, 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 yeah. Was, but yeah. if you get a crit on that, then it uh, goes into many different things that you can get. Yeah, so yeah, that's what the crit is. The crit is on shapeshift into okay. one specific other human. Okay. Um, Okay, you have uh, got several different choices. Even though I'm pretty sure what you're going to go for, I will list them all off for you, okay? Mm -hmm. You could get a new, new human form, or mm -hmm. you could get uh, the same new human form twice a day, or you could get uh, your first toggle power. What the toggle power is, is it, it's a... Uh, thing that once you get affects all of them. And what this toggle power is, is your new human form that you have has different DNA than you, and any new other human form you get after that also has new DNA. Enough to fool the cops, anyway. Um, or you could uh, take, because this one's got a lot of different shit, or you could take shapeshift into one specific humanoid type, like Slee Stack, Beast Ken, whatever, mm -hmm. or you could take the power teach someone who doesn't have pattern how to shape shift like completely raw like uh, or so that was teach someone who doesn't have pattern uh-huh uh there are some restrictions and stuff in that also but um let's see uh or you take a uh, second uh choose second human shape to become or getting to the one you're finally after here, because I just mm -hmm. wanted to list all those off because they are interesting to you. Uh, Shapeshift mimic one specific already existing or existed before human. 
note this is only for our word appearance. Well, in your case, you're basically Sherlock Holmes form. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. That, that's that's why I wanted to spend it. Yeah, you could just. I've been, I've been trying to work my way through this tree just to get to this point where yeah, I can yeah, get be. my old form back. And then there we can all go. walk around this Richard Nixon. Yes. 